I'm delighted to be joined by Lancashire and England wicketkeeper Joss Butler, who, as we speak, is based at the Hilton Garden Inn at Emirates Old Trafford, preparing for the second test match or behind closed doors test match against a very buoyant West Indies cricket team. Joss, great to chat to you, mate. Thanks very much for, for, for joining us. How's life been over the last, uh, the last month in that secure bubble of the England cricket team? Yeah, it's certainly been, been very different um, to, to what we've known before, obviously, in previous summers. Um, and I think initially the first week or so was, was you know, certainly very strange, sort of getting used to it. The um, rest of the country um, was going sort of out of you know, easing of lockdown and we've gone the opposite way almost and, and into you know, very strict lockdown. Um, so the first week was a bit strange getting used to that, um, but it was nice to, you know, the days when you're playing cricket um, and the training, obviously large groups, so with the gym in the morning or cricket in the afternoon and the, or the vice versa. So we've had some busy days, which has been good, you know, getting back with all the lads and, and training properly and having had sort of three months off, um, you know, it's nice to get back in, into sort of your skill and, and, and your trade um, and, and playing, even though it's been very different. Um, it has been nice to to get you know back back in hand and and, and playing cricket. I, I suppose, like every other guideline uh, along cricket at the moment, Joss, is that is that when, when you're together, it's very stringent and ve and very strict guidelines to keep to. Uh, and as an England group, you're together. Have the uh, have the ECP put any activities on for you to try to try and quell that boredom when when you're not playing? Cricket? Yeah, they've been good actually. There's uh, down in Southampton, we had. Um, you know, a nice team room where you know, quite a lot of us getting into cards. So been, there was a bit of a card school going on. Brilliant. Um, and then uh, they had you know table tennis, uh, pool table, um, Formula One simulator. That was um, that's proved pretty popular. Um, I think in the lockdown, sort of Brodie and Stokesy, um, you know, got involved actually in some of those virtual Grand Prix that were on Sky. Um, so they they're the boys with the the quickest lap times. I think they've had plenty of practice, but yeah, that's been a a winner uh, for everyone. And and down in Southampton, they um, have a golf course at the at the ground, which we've been able to use the the course there. So uh, lads are getting out and playing some golf after training. Or um, so yeah, it's not it's been been plenty of ways to keep busy as well. Absolutely, and that 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 uh, that's, that rest period is really important as a cricketer. But but no doubt over over the last uh, last week, he, there's been a couple of firsts for you in particular. One, keeping wicket to Jimmy Anderson with long hair, wearing a wearing a headband, uh, and two, more importantly, I suppose, he's playing an international test match in the UK behind closed doors. What kind of a feeling was that? It's certainly different. Um, yeah, I think we're generally we're so lucky in England that uh, Test cricket is is held with such high regard. Um, we get fantastic support in the ground um, in England. Um, so it's certainly very different. You know, without the Barmy Army and the, um, you know, I, th I think I really look at the sort of last day in Southampton. You know, when we started bowling really well, had them two or three down early. Um, you know, that extra boost of a 12th man of a, of a crowd in that situation would have been huge for the game and, and would have added a lot of pressure um, to the West Indies as well. You know, someone like Jofra was bowling extremely fast and, you know, those crowds love to see that fast bowling. And, uh, and um, you know, so that, that was certainly strange there. You didn't notice it as probably quite as much when you're batting. I think it was more in the field where you sort of really noticed um, the lack of, of the crowd, um, but at the same time, you know, I thought the, you know, I thought both sides did really well actually. Um, you know, considering no one had played a, a match for for three months, um, you know, certainly we know as a team, um, you know, there's with, with the bat, with the ball, and in the field, um, you know, we can be sharper and we can we can be better. Um, but having not played any cricket for three months, I think you know, some expectations of being a little bit rusty. Um, and, uh, you know, certainly we had our chances in the game, which we've never quite capitalised on. And I think that's been the sort of main talking point for, for lads um, coming into this week is sort of recognising those moments where we really need to grab the game. 
Yeah. Uh, terrific test match to watch uh, as, a, as a neutral and some really good cricket being played, as you mentioned. And it's probably understandable that, that skills were a little bit rusty after, after that time off. But how's preparations been going um, here at Emirates Old Trafford now with the lads? Are they, are they uh, they're a week more into it now? Uh, uh, can you see a marked in, improvement? Yeah, it's been obviously disappointing today. We've always had some typical Manchester weather, so <laughs> I haven't been able to to have a proper practice today. Um, but you know, most of that has been indoors, and it's great to have Joe Root back. He obviously wasn't at the first test; he left for the birth of his uh, daughter. Um, you know, Any time you take world class player out of the side like that, and and as your captain, um, he's always going to be a miss. So it's, and around the group, yeah, it's great to have your leader back amongst the group um you know, so that's some more sort of familiarities as to to use your having your the captain back around um so now the guys look good uh, and we think we saw the wicket um yesterday and it looks like a great wicket ready to go so and it's just nice to be be back here at old trafford um there's great memories um over the years here playing for lancashire in england and it certainly feels a nice comfortable place to come Absolutely, and I'm just just moving on to that now. We mentioned before that we've seen that this West West Indian cricket team is has got some serious talent in the batting and the bowling, and there are, are a massive force to be reckoned with, Joss. But it must give the likes of yourself uh, and Jimmy Anderson um, a degree of confidence coming back to a ground that that you that you know pretty well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, for Jimmy to to run in from. A- you know his own end as well. I'm sure that that's always a nice ring to it for him. Um, and and yeah, absolutely. I, I, Emirates Old Trafford is somewhere I've always loved playing, especially as a home ground as well. Great memories, as I said. And and I think as a player, it's always you know very comforting when you come to a play. You know, I sit in my own spot in the dressing room and um, sort of familiarities around that. And um, you know it just makes you feel at ease. Yeah, even though the cricket at the moment is is a bit different. You know personally. I haven't been playing uh, as well as I liked and you know you need to find my best form and, and certainly feel like coming to a place where um, you know is his home and you, you do feel comfortable um, you know both on and off the field um, certainly really helps that that um, sort of state of mind I guess. Yeah, absolutely mate and, and 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 seeing some familiar faces in the dressing room as the dressing room attendants and and and, and little things like knowing where the tea bags are if you want to go and have a, <laughs> have a brew and have and have five minutes that's the, those those home comforts do do help players and and like you said we've played a lot of cricket between ourselves and we? we know that we're we're one game away from uh, from being back to where we were so we've got to keep going but historically the wicket at Emirates Old Trafford Joss has got pace it's got bounce which will be a positive for, for both teams, really, as we've seen from the last Test match. There's pace with abundance on show. And I know, I know from, a, from a watcher, I'm really looking forward to, uh, to, to, to when the game starts. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, traditionally, you get a fantastic wicket here. And I think, you know, pace in the game is, is one of the things people love to see in international cricket, isn't it? Guys like to see that competition between bat and ball at, at high pace. Let's say both sides have got guys who can who can get it through. And batsmen enjoy the extra pace as well. You know, coming um at times in Southampton, um the pitch did get a little bit slow and a few guys were saying you know, sometimes it was hard to to get away. West Indies very disciplined bowling attack, um with Roach and Holder as well. You sort of do a you know, very economical job and, and Joseph and Gabriel kind of attack a bit more. Um, but yeah, so certainly when you get some pace in the wicket as well, certain batters really enjoy that, the ball coming on a bit more as well. In Southampton, it t- you know, turned out as a, a fantastic wicket. You finish on day five with all, you know, win and lose available for both teams. Um, and, and of course, coming here, there'll be different conditions. Um, the spinners enjoy bowling here as well with with the bounce. Um, you know, so it'll be fascinating five days. It will. Um, I was going to move on to to, to best. Must be must be an eye itching to get out there. He's seen historically that this wicket does take a little bit of spin later on in the game. We, we've mentioned before that that, that five day cricket is different from from county county championship four day cricket. So we're hoping the likes of, of best who bowl really well in in Hampshire come to the fore and uh, and can put a good performance in. Yeah, he seems full of confidence. You know, I think he obviously you know. Um, coming out from, from the South Africa tour took a lot of confidence from his bowling there. He seems to have been, you know, come back and, and his bowling really nice shape on the ball and um, you know, fantastic place to bowl spin. It's a really aggressive option. Um, let's say as the pitch 
um, you get the extra bounce here and especially as the footholds get created like you say as you get into a day five um, spin plays a real prevalent part so um, of course it's also interesting how the weather is for five days but you know with a hard surface as you sometimes get here reverse swing can sometimes later on in summers play a part here so whether it will in this game or not um, with it being a bit lusher and, and less used wickets on on the square but um, yeah that's I think again one of the beauties of playing a, um, you know, a spin and reverse swing can be in the game. Absolutely, and, and and I personally love watching Lancashire players play at Emirates Old Trafford for for England, and I'm, I'm, uh, we wish you the, the best of luck over the, over the next uh, week or so, two weeks or so in in the next two games. JB, um, best of luck to you in particular and to all the England team. Uh, I hope we get to get a win and go into that final test match with a chance of, a, of winning the series. JB, all the very best. Thanks for joining us, and we'll hopefully catch up very soon. Thank you, mate. Thank you very much.